Everyone I know hates CAPTCHAs. So I quoted CAPTCHAgame.com where all you do is solve CAPTCHAs. The more you solve, the harder they get and the higher your score. And when I finished this work of art, the first thing people decided to do was hack it. You see, I was coding this on my YouTube live stream and someone had the suggestion of implementing a leaderboard. That's exactly what I did. And I didn't put too much work into security. I mean, I figured nobody was even gonna play the game, let alone snoop around for security vulnerabilities, right? Wrong. That night, I shared the game around to a couple of friends and I posted it on my Instagram story. And when I woke up in the morning, I went onto the leaderboard to find a bunch of scores that were clearly put there without actually playing the game. And one of these guys actually DM'd me on Instagram after breaking my game and sent me $5 for a coffee. And I found out it wasn't even just that one guy who found the really obvious vulnerability I left on the site. There were multiple people trying to hack into this. So let's talk about what went wrong. Like I mentioned, I didn't think anyone was actually going to play the game, so I coded it in a very simple way. When the game game starts, the front end generates the text for the CAPTCHA using some very simple random functions. Then I take that text and I call another function, let's say generate CAPTCHA image, and does things like rotate the lettering, makes the background a bit more fuzzy, add some lines in there, or even change the color of the text. And every single time the user types in an input, all it does is it checks the user's input against the text we know the CAPTCHA says, and if it's right, we increment their score and give them another CAPTCHA. If it's wrong, we give them the game over screen. Once on that game over screen, the user has the opportunity to write their name and it sends off their score and their name straight to the back end where it gets added to the leaderboard. But of course, if you're a web dev, you've probably caught on that if the score is being calculated on the front end and getting sent to the back end for the leaderboard, you can just put whatever score you want with your name and send that to our leaderboard. And that's exactly what people were doing. And it turns out the only way to stop that is to move a bunch of calculations over to the back end, which was way too much work for this simple little stupid game that I made in a day, right? We're not actually doing that, right? Wrong again. First, when a user now starts a game, we create a session in the back end that gets stored in our database under the current sessions table. Then we get the back end to generate a seed and it also stores that in the same table, but it takes that seed and sends it back to the front end. The front end can then take the difficulty, the score, and that new seed and create a CAPTCHA based on that on the front end. It then generates the image like normal and when the user submits their answer, it will send just their their answer and their session ID back to the back end, where the back end can then use their current score and their current difficulty and their seeds stored in the database to replicate what the word they would have gotten was and check whether or not their answer was the same. That way the back end is actually the one doing all the checking to see if an answer is correct or not. And if it was correct, it would just return them their new difficulty and their new score. And if it's incorrect, it closes the game session out and gives them the game over screen. And that way when someone lost the game, all that would happen is they'd submit their name and their session to the back end the backend will pull up their latest score and set that as their leaderboard entry so they have no say on the score whatsoever. And once that was done, I went ahead and purged all the fake scores that I got. Luckily, I had a screenshot from the leaderboard before everyone started hacking it. We were back to normal with some guy named GPT Suck being number one on the leaderboard. Finally, it was done. I had a viral, simple, stupid capture game that nobody could hack, right? No, nobody could could hack it anymore, right? Wrong! You know, I, I thought by now you would get it that every time I said right, wrong was gonna come right afterwards. Anyways, if you were paying close attention, you'll notice that the CAPTCHA generation is still happening on the front end. And if there's one thing you can say about the front end, it's that anyone can look at anything that is happening there. Technically speaking, as long as the text itself that was being generated for the CAPTCHA was happening on the front end, you can never really truly be secure. Even if you generate that text on the back end, it would still have to send it to the front end. The only way to make it fully secure is to generate the CAPTCHA text on the server side and then the CAPTCHA image on the server side and send just the image to the front end. Otherwise, anyone can snoop around on the client side to get the actual text that your CAPTCHA equals to and just use that. And as it turns out, our good friend GPT Suck, who I thought was a real player, figured that out and bought me a coffee just to tell me that he hacked my code. He even sent me a gist of the code which is just looking for the code variable that contains the finished CAPTCHA and automatically entering that into the text box. Unfortunately, this is just kind of unavoidable unless I literally generate the image on the server side and send it to the front end, but that requires having something like a canvas on the back end. And being that I use Next.js, Versal's little serverless functions would charge me a nice premium for the time it took to do and send all that data. If there's anything I learned from this whole experience, it's that we can't have nice things and I'm never adding a leaderboard to another one of my websites again. Oh yeah, I also code on my live stream, which is on YouTube. So if you want to see me make cool stuff like this in the future, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way, you know, when I'm live.